All right, this is gonna be a video just showcasing a little knife that I made. Uh, you can probably hear the boys in the background. Uh, there's no way to really get them to be quiet. So anyway, here's the knife. Uh, it's a, uh, I did a scabbard, English style scabbard I reckon. Not just wood, this is poplar. Two pieces of poplar. It's got a uh, brass, I guess that's a chape, I don't know how you'd say that, and throat. And I made them out of sheet brass, just about a sixteenth inch thick. Formed them and then soldered them with a torch and a so and plumb and solder. This, uh, I made this leather piece for it. That There's a piece of brass going through the, the throat, in, through two, sl two little slits and soldered, so it's stout. And... Uh, the leather runs through it all the way through and then it's got a saddle stitch holding it together and then this runs this leather runs through it all the way around and all three pieces are saddle stitched right there with just some Dacron B50 a bow, bow uh, string um, it's kind of a tight fit I don't know if I can get it out and hold the camera too I might have to set the camera down for a second See, that's the sheath. Without any uh, thing in it. See, the reason I made this is I actually ran out of leather in the Tandy Leather Store in my area closed down. This is the knife. It's a thin, lightweight, spring steel, uh, through tang knife. The, uh, it's got brass uh, ferrules on it and butt cap. It's a hickory handle, piece of an old axe handle. Uh, that crack is actually not a structural defect. That's a dry crack from when it was an axe handle. I just couldn't grind it all out without changing the shape too much. But uh, it's got a pretty decent polish on it little bit of for forge mark left uh, peened over on the butt cap and it's shaving sharp right now and uh, the scabbard kinda hangs hangs kinda loose which is good because if you sit down you don't want it breaking see right there I think you can see can see that solder joint where I soldered that that actually goes through on that but uh, anyway I don't know if I can, I might can fish that in there on video. Let's see, I'll fish that part in. And show it going down into the scabbard. See, it fits tight. It'll loosen up over time, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, but anyway, that's uh, basically, this is a fighting knife. It's not It's not meant for work, because it's a through tang. It's not a chopper. It's a... Uh, it could be used for skinning or kitchen work, I guess, but uh, I made it with the intent of a, like a kind of a medieval style fencing knife or fighting knife. Uh, it does have a clip point, kind of like a Bowie knife, but it's not really a Bowie. It's not a heavy blade. That's it.